question that I wanted to start off with was, um, who really inspired you to get into politics? Well, that's, uh, to get into politics is one thing, more than that, is who have uh, inspired me and uh, being the first child of my mother and father. My father is a man that, uh, you know, came from a big family, I think he came from a family of 13. And uh, he grew up and, and worked before the war. There was a bank of war before the war, but owned by the Navy. And um, my father was employed. Uh, you know, the local people uh, were employed uh, by the Navy, that is major. Uh, employer, you've got some people like the fourth of one that I know, in Martinez, Pedro Martinez is the top typhoon you might say in the fourth of one. Uh, and he was no question. If you look at this, uh, this is over there by the, by the palace is. Okay. Can you see that over there by the Yeah, Daniel? you can see it in the background. Yeah, yeah. the background. The Plaza de Estanias yeah. in the back, right? Well, this is my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Don Tomas and that's an Anderson Cow. Wow. Before the war, the tycoon of Guam, Pedro Martinez. That's Bishop, that says, yeah, Governor Bradley. That's Governor Bradley. And uh, Pedro Martinez, and this is Mr. Mr. Paris. And uh, that's Judge Manibusan over there in the back. So these are, these are the people that, that uh, of course, that's my family, that's a big family. Oh, very beautiful. And there's the man that uh, I have uh, the greatest uh, admiration, admiration and uh, have motivated me to be what I am. The Pope visited our island. Wow. There's Yes. Bishop Flores there with the Pope, mm -hmm. John Paul, and uh, Cyril Bless, even though, and it, it, because I was also confronted with a teacher strike when I was there, when I was governor, and it's not there to teach the whole government, I guess, you know, the, and uh, the good thing that uh, the Pope came and everything was subsided. I know a lot about Guam in my, my class, and um, it's it's just astonishing how far Guam has come from... In spite of how we were treated. Yeah, exactly. You know, many years being cap captive under the yeah, Japanese, yeah. and it's... Look at the, the they just, uh, they're, um, something that happened where they were, uh, uh, even just pretty the rest of the Marianas, except and we were not even asked to. Well, I don't know whether Babylon just didn't go there, but but you know that. Um, but yeah, we have been uh, we have been taken uh, advantage of. I have one more question. Um, for many years now, people have been questioning the political status of Guam. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, Everybody, there are many people that want us to become a statehood, you know, many people that want us to be independent in our own nation. How do you feel? What, what do you think we should I become? feel that uh, we deserve to be a state. Especially uh, after but everything. at the same time, I think that too many things have happened to this island, that we are either, statehood is something to aspire to, you know, but there, there are some shortcomings in becoming a state. More responsibility and... But at the same time, uh, we should at least be given our dues. For your time today. Oh my gosh. I know you're very probably very busy. That I go to report to my spirit. <laughs> <laughs>